Hey y'all, Irix guy here. Now several fans had reached out to me and they're like, "Hey man, have you seen have you seen this new drone?" And at the time I hadn't. And I checked it out and I'm going to provide you with my feedback that I mean, obviously without having hands-on what I think about the new Flyby drone. So check the link within this video's description and you can find a link to where if you want to contribute, I contributed some uh, some money to the campaign. If you want to contribute, that's up to you. Uh, they do have several options listed there. So if you're if you're not just wanting to contribute, maybe you're wanting to uh, potentially be able to pre-order or reserve a certain package, you may be able to do that. Check the link within this video's description. But the Flyby, it has a lot of interesting uh, specs on paper. One of the things that I like, obviously, and you know I'm not a I'm not a big drone kind of guy. When I see a big drone like the Inspire or something, I'm just like, oh, so big, so big, so bulky to travel with. And that's why I love the Phantom 3, because it is smaller. But what's cool about the Flyby is that it even has a wrist wearable controller. So, you know, you, you may have seen my Parrot Bebop videos in the past, and you may have realized that, you know, you get that small Parrot Bebop, and then if you want the controller, you got this massive sky controller and it just wasn't optimal it wasn't realistic but what on what impresses me about the flyby on paper and again check this all out for yourself what impresses me the most is the small size of the craft itself and the small size of the wrist wearable controller and in addition to that what i really like is the uh, is the integrated obstacle avoidance and that's something I think is likely going to become more prevalent as we see even more drones developed, is the ability for that drone to sense, you know, maybe a tree branch, maybe a uh, uh, telephone pole, something like that, and to be able to avoid that obstacle. And that's, that's cool that uh, obstacle avoidance is a feature that's listed with the Flyby. Something else that's cool with the Flyby is that there's a backpack. So what it can do, it can land itself on this backpack. And it said the backpack could also be rooftop mountable on a car, which that's really cool. We can wear it on your back. But when it's on the ground or on the top of your car, if you're flying the flyby and it starts to run low on battery, it'll land itself on that backpack, obviously that's opened up and ready for uh, to function as a landing pad. It'll land, it'll swap out the battery completely autonomously, and then take back off. So that's, that's a first. Now, how rugged is the backpack? Is it waterproof? Is it water-resistant? None of that do I know at this point. The camera that, is, that comes with the Flyby is 1080p. 1080p is fine. But I was a little bit disappointed, at, at least at the time of, of looking at it, that there wasn't a 4K option. Now, that's a big thing for me. If you, if you watch my other videos, you know that I'm a big 4K fan. Everything I film now is in 4K. But that's not a necessity for everyone. What I did like, and if you check out, you know, check the link within this video's description and read the article, where they were talking about uh, the possibility, if they get enhanced funding, that they may be able to do a 360-degree camera. And you've probably seen my videos some many months ago where I was saying, you know, when GoPro releases their drone, is it going to have a 360 degree GoPro camera? Meaning that you're not just filming where the camera shoots, but it's a half sphere or in a, in a better scenario, a complete sphere. So, you know, you can stitch that together in post. And when you're watching that video with a compatible browser, you can pan around as if you were in that drone when that video was recorded. So instead of just looking at a fixed point wherever the drone was filming, when you're watching that video, you could then, let's say a bird flew by the right side. Instead of just staying with a forward-facing view, when you're watching the video, you could go to the right and see that bird in flight. So that's, that's neat. The other thing, the FPV goggles, now, you know, this is one of those touchy subjects when you talk about first person view because there's all of the uh there's all the politics that, that come in come into play when people are talking about a uh, wearable 
goggle system when they're flying a drone. Now, obviously, it's a scenario if someone was flying with goggles, you know, they would need to uh, need to have someone else that had control and visual line of sight with that drone to be safe. But what's cool about the goggles is that they have head tracking. So if you look down, if you look over, you look up, you know, the camera is going to turn. So it, in essence, gives the... Uh, gives the viewer that has the goggles on the ability to to look around as if they're sitting in that virtual cockpit in the flyby. So that's that's a cool feature. Uh, other features, well it comes in multiple colors. It comes with prop guards to make it safer. You know, it definitely seems like this is a drone where where safety has been put into the spotlight. And that's something I like. You know, being the drone evangelist, droneevangelist.com. If you haven't listened to his sermons, you know, he, he preaches responsible and safe drone use. And anytime I see someone working to embrace safety from a drone perspective, it puts a smile on my face. So I really like their perceived commitment to safety. I mean, that means a lot. If it doesn't mean it to you, it means a lot to me. Comes in multiple color options. I think that's nice that it uh, that it has that. And I mean, ultimately, it's like anything else on paper. It's one of those things you've got to got to get your hands on and take it out in that field in that safe and responsible location, and just have fun with it and see what it can or can't do. You know, what are the advantages to this flyby drone versus other drones that are on the market today? Drones that are hitting the market soon. What are the advantages? What are the disadvantages? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's to get to get the paws on, get the paws on that drone, that flyby. So I'm super stoked, and I wanted to share this with you. Tell me what your thoughts are. Again, I do not have my hands on a flyby yet, uh, but I'm I'm super excited to get my paws on one as soon as possible because you know, I love to take a drone into a field and have fun with it and tell you how it is. But on paper, again, this looks good. And, and until, until it's in the paws, in the field, it's going to be hard to, uh, hard to know what's going to happen. But it looks, I was, I was pleased with the presentation. Check it out for yourself. Check the link within this video's description. Tell me what you think and share with others. Again, it's called the Flyby. It's a new drone. Uh, that is currently being funded and and at the time of uh, at the time of this video they've wow their, their website shows that they've raised a uh, significant amount so I'm I'm very happy uh, for them and that takes a lot of uh, takes a lot of courage to to not only develop a new product but it takes a lot of courage to to take a new product from a prototype and to put it into production so that it can be in the hands of people everywhere. So thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe youtube.com forward slash Y'all have a good day.